once you look at that pyramid and the complexity of that talent pool, the diversity that is required, we all realize it's not just one course that we need to do. You can't just create one course curriculum. It's not four years of engineering that will get you the entire skill sets. What we need to do is invest in each layer and create capacity within this country. We have to invest into two things, you know. One thing is the mindset, the other thing is the skill set. And skill set is something that we can build through courses and curriculums and public-private partnership with companies like Log9 and others can come in collaboration with the government and create the right course curriculum for people to understand and get educated about what electric vehicles and what layer of that electric vehicle they're investing into as, as their own education and talent density. But the bigger challenge that we need to bring in this country is the shift from skill set to mindset. And mindset is a very fundamental shift that needs to happen. When you're investing into mindset, you're investing into innovation. You're in investing into encouraging people to think out of the box. You're moving the needle from just looking at a CGPA to looking at what they can contribute. You're moving away from what that person does to how that person does that thing. You're looking at patents, you're looking at new products, you're looking at new innovation. You're looking at course curriculums and PhDs and centers that encourages out of box thinking, new materials, new science that happens in this country at a fundamental level. And once your mindset shift happens, once this country moves away from servicing somebody else, then creating products and technologies internally, then the skill set can absorb. We can make our own cells, we can make our own batteries, we can make our own power electronics, we can make our own metals, we can mine our own materials from this country and we can recycle a lot. Imagine what India can do with a brilliant 1.4 billion people. We have an opportunity of becoming the most intellectually dense, engineering talented country that's gonna spearhead the EV revolution where the rest of the world taps into India to look at technologies that were built in India for India and then move it to the tropics and the rest of the world.